This is George Purdy, a good friend of the Let's Go Fishing Show who lives on the island of Lanai. The last time George took me out on a boat ride to look for fish, it was a terrific adventure. Riding on his tricked out motorized kayaks is a cool way to get around on the ocean. You can get to places with your rod and reel you never thought you could. So, when George invited me to join him again for another fishing trip, the boat ride he had planned for us this time was, well, again, something I didn't expect. Hey George, how big is this boat? 14 feet. 14 feet. How long have you had it? About two months. Oh, that's not confident. Oh. <laughs> How many times have you taken it out? It's only about seven times. Seven times? Okay. And how far have you taken it out? Oh, I went to Molokai. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Promise me we're not going to Molokai today. No. Okay. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes to put it together. Hey, does, does this thing float? Yes, it does. I mean, even if it fills up with water, it floats. Yes. Really? Yeah. That was the last time they ever saw us. <laughs> George says that the shipping weight for this folding boat was only 135 pounds. Hmm, by the time we put an engine and three grown men aboard this, well, I'd be lying if I told you that I wasn't having some serious second thoughts right about now. All right. Hey, Hamilton. Yeah. yeah. You've been on the boat before? Uh, a couple times. Yeah? And yeah. you made it back, so that's a good yeah, endorsement. Yeah, we, we made it back alive, and a lot rougher than this, so here's the spoken handle. All right, you ready? And away we go. Can this boat take? About 800 pounds. Okay, if we catch a, what, 10 pound fish, we gotta go back home, huh? Maybe bigger. <laughs> no, no, no. Marlin. <laughs> Don't even. <laughs> How's these floors on the boat, guys? It's like a waterbed? Yeah, the fish are on a waterbed. Oh, man. If you're the nervous type, that'll get you going, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, while we're waiting for those trolling rods to do their work, we may as well pick up the spinning rod and keep ourselves busy. What do you got, man? I have no idea. Keep nice, it, whatever it is. Keep it going. Well, the guys, you know, back on Oahu, they want those for research. Yeah, I think we're gonna keep them out of the water. I think he's done enough damage. Hey, Hamilton. Yeah. Catching a roy doesn't necessarily mean the skunk is off. No, no. <laughs> now we gotta catch edible. Yes. There we go. Hanapa. He does not want to come in. No, 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 How much no, wine no, is on no. this? George, how much wine you got on this? Um, 400 yards. Oh, okay. Boy, this fish is almost pulling us backwards. No kidding, folks. This is the type of boat you really don't want to stand up in. There's really no room to move around. So at the moment, this fish has an added advantage in this tug of war. If he wants to go right, 
Not much you can do about it. If he wants to go left, not much you can do about it. But sooner or later, the moment of truth arrives. Oh, look at that. Now, how are we going to get this Ono in the boat? Get my shirt on. Okay, I'm holding the boat on the side. Oh, careful, Hamilton. I'm over here. I'm right up top. Oh, that's a good idea. Let's put the fish on George's lap. Oh, yeah. Done deal. And dead! Hey guys! Yes. Awesome, man! Yes. Okay. Yeah. At least you got one. <laughs> and the heart, and the ending point is right there. <laughs> yep. It always happens We're just awesome. before you get home. <laughs> well, mission accomplished. Let's drag the lures for the next five minutes that it will take us to get back to the pier. Then let's break down this amazing collapsible folding boat. Man, you know it. George Purdy has the coolest toys, doesn't he? Folks, a lot of people to say thank you for that great boat ride. Hey, George Purdy, nice boat. Hamilton San, very good on the angling. Thank you. Folks, don't go away. A lot more of the fishing show is coming your way right after you catch this. Stick around.